Okay, this is a video, August 2011 update on my 125 gallon reef, mixed reef fish tank. Uh, this tank has been set up for about uh, four, four and a half years now. So it had a major outbreak of Manjano. Uh, the ballast burned out on the power compact lighting that it had, um, and the tank basically crashed. So we started over again. Uh, right at the end of March of 2011, so basically the tank is about four months old right now on the rebuild. Um, we did uh, Aurora LED uh, custom LED lighting, and you're seeing all of the lights on right now, reds, whites, and the blue atinix. Uh, and it really does a nice job making the coral stand out. The tank has about I would say 150 pounds of live rock in the display and probably another 30 pounds of live rock in the 30 gallon sump. As a power or a protein skimmer, a, a phosphate reactor, and a miracle mud in the sump, making kind of like a refugium with a clerpa down there to help with export of nutrients. So we'll just kind of go in and take a look. The water movement in the tank is provided by two Corali 4s and also two Maxi Jets which uh, blow in behind the rocks on either end of the display. Kind of the islands of the tank, as you can see there. And then of course the return pump, I can show you down here though it's a little dark, is a Mag drive 12, so she's pumping about 1200 gallons at zero head. So it probably has about a three foot rise to get up to the fish tank, so it's probably a little bit less than that, somewhere probably in the 900 to 1000. In the tank, fish wise, we have two typical firefish Hawaiian firefish, one of the purple firefish. A jawfish, yellow-headed pearl jawfish, a false percula clown, a green chromis, a baby coal tang, a yellow fin damsel. Uh, there's also a Hector's goby and a bicolored angel. And I think that might be all the fish that are in the tank. Oh no, there's also a sailfin blenny in here somewhere too. And I think that's it. There's also a cleaner shrimp which is up over here, hangs out at the top around those pumps all the time. And a pistol shrimp and a whole bunch of different kinds of hermit crabs and emerald crabs and snails and the like. Now most of the corals that are in this tank are new to the tank within the last four months. Only a few of them actually survived the collapse of the previous setup. Um, those few are that big bubble that you're looking at right now. Also the frog spawn up here, which in just the last week or so has not been opening up very much, so I'm not quite sure why all the parameters are testing fine. Um, most of these brown button polyps uh, were on the, in the tank originally before and continue to be that. They survived that. Um, this lobophilia that's over here was in the tank originally. In the previous run. And I think that might be it. Maybe uh, the leather coral that was over here. It was a frag before and is just starting to try to make a comeback now after we rebuilt it. The rest of the stuff is pretty much new stuff that we've gotten from a num number of different sources. Um, some of them off the internet uh, through aquatic sea or Atlantic Sea Farms. We just got those not that long ago, last week. Up there I think you can see the sailfin blenny sitting on the rock right there. It's a cute little fish. Uh, we got a number of zoanthids. As you can see on the frag rocks, so those recordia mushrooms that are there. We also got that group of zoanthids. Ten zoanthids all in all. Guys in the back. And a number of them from Atlantic Sea Farms. Nice, nice job. Thank you, Jimmy. 
And then we also have picked up frags locally to myself as in this hammer, which is nicely splitting into two heads now. And a nice candy cane, which is also getting ready to split. Some more nice zooanthids. Another recordia back there from Atlantic Sea Farms. Those are Superman mushrooms, the red ones. Some green star polyps, some green hairy mushrooms. Nice plate coral, green plate coral that we got off the internet from Reefaholics off of eBay. Same thing with this absolutely gorgeous octopus coral, frog spawn coral. You can see up there a little frag of some kind of, I believe it's a Acropora. I'm not quite sure that came from that Atlantic Sea Farms. Also, you can reach them at AtlanticSeaFarms.net, I believe it is. We've got a local frag of Monopora digitalis that's orange, and then I believe that is a Monopora digitalis, a green one, that was a frag from Atlantic Sea Farms. A bird's nest. Now this maize brain here actually was an original one from the previous setup on the tank. It uh, suffered a tremendous amount of die-off, as you can see, but it actually is now once again starting to spread across the rock, so that's nice to see. This little frag down here is actually a, a discount pickup from Salty Critter in Vermilion, Ohio, which is an excellent store if you ever get a chance to go there. Um, that actually is Blastamusa Merletti. Um, it's I got him in the discount, the kind of their throwaway tank. They put a bunch of frags of stuff that they don't think is good enough to sell. You're able to pick it up and see if you can't nurse them back to health. It is actually making a comeback, so that's good to see. I also got those nice orange zooanthids that are sitting down there on the bottom from there too. Great daisy stars here in the middle. Love the daisy stars. They've been spreading like crazy. Got those from RMS Aquaculture here locally in northern Ohio. And that nice torch coral. Just a few more things that are in here. Up here on the top we see another frag of uh, Acropora in the back there. That frag was Monopora Capricornus, I'm sure, but it was dead upon arrival from Atlantic Sea Farms. Um, unfortunately, I put it in here hoping that it might make some kind of recovery, but no such luck. There are a couple of uh, green-blue bird's nest. A couple more Acropora, one of them a green slimer in the back, the one in the front, I'm not sure what it is. Down here we have Postulophora, a green Postulophora. And then we wrap it back up with the Lobo, some more star polyps, and green hairy mushrooms. Down here we got the Ricks, and then some red mushrooms. So overall, not doing too bad. 125 gallon reef, August 2011. We'll try to make one of these every month so we can document the growth of the tank. And of course as we get more corals. Oh, I don't know if I covered this one. This is a Christmas tree favia. Pick that up off the internet also from Reefaholics on eBay. Alright, hope you enjoyed the update.